Oh yeah, hey guys, this is Mark Shea, and you're watching Exploring Music. This is another guitar lessons in 10 minutes or less. So ready? Check it out! Yeah guys, so I've shown you two scales on this channel. So one is the one scale to rule them all and that is notes to so that's how, getting you familiar with soloing and being able to solo all over your guitar. Now, way back in the beginning of doing the 10 minute or less videos, I showed you a very simple one to strengthen your fingers. Yes, get these things nice and strong. Now, the reason why this is really, it's a real simple exercise. Each finger gets a fret. So your index gets one, your middle finger gets second fret, your third finger gets the third fret, and your pinky gets the fourth. It is that simple. Now, this is because this is the widest part of the guitar that you're gonna need to stretch and build up those fingers, and it's easier to shrink them when you get up here. Now, this is all part of the soloing side of things, okay, because the one scale to rule them all gives you the notes. It shows you how to learn the notes of the guitar. This one is going to show you how to mix up those notes. If you look at the earlier video for the one, two, three, four scale, it's just simply in time, you want to keep it everything in time. So we've already done the down, up, down, up, alternate picking in the last lesson. So this one is just down, up, down, up, as you're going one, two, three, four, and it's all in time. And you go all the way down the guitar and all the way back up. So. Now, as I've told you before, you do it, you know, because you're trying to keep it in time, you go as slow as you need to, even if it's just one, two, three, four, one. All right, so you want to just keep it in time, but also that includes changing strings. So you don't want to get your muscle memory happening where it's going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You don't want that pause, you want it one, two, three, four, two, three, four. You, you, even when you're changing strings, you want that in an even rhythm. Okay, so we've got that. So you're going to go down and then back up. Now, as far as your soloing goes, that, that's to help build the strength of your fingers to push down all the notes and all that sort of stuff. No matter where you are on the guitar, that will help strengthen your fingers. That's why that scale is important. It is boring, I know, but it is important. So now, the whole idea of soloing, you've got, I've given you a scale of notes and how to solo over stuff. Now this one is how to mix up those notes and do them in different patterns. So we're going to use the one, two, three, four scale and to train our fingers to do different patterns. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go backwards. So instead of one, two, three, four, we're gonna do four, three, two, one. So it's four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And then backwards, so on that one. One, two, three. Here's where it gets tricky. Because remember, you're do, using your pick and you're going down, up, down, up, down, up on every note. You're not doing down, down, up, up, down, down, up. You're not doing that, not doing that. It's down, up, down, up. So here's where it gets tricky. We're gonna take out one of those frets. So this is where it's going to teach you the importance of the alternate and 
and also getting your fingers in different things. Now you can make up all sorts of patterns. I'm going to give you a few today just to give you an idea. But using the one, two, three, four, make it as weird as you want to do it. Yeah, well, there's only four fingers, so it's going to be pretty limited. But so this time we do not play with our middle finger. So it's one, three, four. So there we go. One, three, four. 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 And then backwards. And then reverse that one. So then go four, three, one, four, three, one, four, three, one, four, three, one, four, three, one. And I use this because this is one of the weirdest ones to do because you're using your weakest two fingers usually and you've got your index and it's a three count so that you're going to be down, up, down and then the next string down is an up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And this is where you want to be staying in time because this is where the challenge is. And like I said, if you have to slow it right down, so be it. So that was like one of the harder ones out of this uh, mixing up the one, two, three, four scale. Now, of course, I could have easily said just do one, two, three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. But if you've got one, two, three, four down, you're gonna find one, two, three pretty easy, except for when it comes to your right hand. Because if you're not used to it, you got your alternate picking. Now, like I said, you do it as slow as you need to. And because it it will come with it will come with muscle memory and time. You'll next thing you know, you'll just be going. Then you can make it even harder and just do two, three, four. So then it's oh, see, yeah, I stuffed up out of practice. And then when you got that, then make it two. So one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three. And then two, four. Uh, so as you, you're getting the idea. You know, I don't want to bore you going through every combination. You can see the combination. One, two, three, four. And then you got one, two, three. With Then you got two, three, four. And then you got one, three, four. And then you got one, two, four. Yeah, so there's the three, and then you can just do it. one, two, and then you go one, three, one, four, and then two, two, three, two, four, and three, four. Right? So you got all these combinations, and then when you've got them, reverse it. So there it is four, three, four, three, four, three, because then when you come up, it's. it's so it's giving your fingers, it's giving your fingers every motion going this way and this way, and it's breaking them up into that. This is how really simple this scale is. This is why I say this is the, the most important scale for your finger strength, um, because it will get your fingers doing every possible pattern in that sense. So it's totally up to you. Remember the two things to do to make sure you get it right for later on. Make sure you learn it right the first time. Is you have one in time, your pick hand is going down, up, down, up on every beat. Not down, down, not up, up. And when you change strings, you, you're still keeping that time. So even if it's down, up, down, up, down, up, or they want that pattern to be the same. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's always constant and this will just explode especially when you start putting it start doing different patterns and it'll get your fingers used to going this way it'll get your fingers going used to that way and it'll be used to just using two fingers or three fingers in any combination going up down up down so that's why this is important. It, I know it's boring. This is the most boring scale you'll learn. Now, I know scales are boring and you don't want to do it, but if you want to solo really well, 
you got to get your muscle memory and you got to get your fingers strong. So, this is the exercise that will do it for you. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. Get practicing and let's get things happening on your soloing side of things. Anyway, guys, hit like. Let, get this video out there. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos because I've got heaps more coming up. Anyway, until next time, I'm Mark Shea. This is Exploring Music. Guitar lessons in 10 minutes or less. See ya!